The Seven Habits of Happy Kids by Sean Covey. Today we're on habit number seven, sharpen the saw, balance is best. We return to Seven Oaks and our friends for Sleepy Sophie. One sunny day in Mountainville Elementary, while Miss Hoot was teaching about the letter Z, Sophie fell fast asleep. Miss Hoot walked over and gently tickled her with a feather. Wake up, Sophie, she said. Sophie opened her eyes. She blinked, trying to remember where she was. Didn't you get enough sleep last night? asked Miss Hoot. Well, I guess not, said Sophie, and she yawned. I'll go to bed early tonight. On the way home from school, Sammy said, Wow, sis, I can't believe you fell asleep in class today. That was so embarrassing. I know, said Sophie, but I'm feeling so fatigued. Fatigued, asked Sammy. Tired, said Sophie. I've been feeling very tired lately. Duh, that's because you stay up all night reading under the covers. Mom should take your flashlight away. But reading is the spice of life, said Sophie. I didn't know books were spicy, said Sammy. I just thought Mexican food was. Never mind, said Sophie, rolling her eyes. Let's just hurry home so I can take a nap. When they got to their tree, Sophie lay down on the couch and then she saw a book and she just had to pick it up. Lily was at the door. Want to color, she asked. I have some new coloring books. No thanks, said Sophie. I'm exhausted. Maybe tomorrow we could color. Okay, said Lily. I'm off to Allie's. After Lily left, so Sophie picked up her book again. Sophie sighed. <sighs> Jumper was at the door. Want to ride bikes, he asked. No thanks, said Sophie. I don't have the energy. Well, that's terrible, said Jumper. You need vitamins. I need a nap, said Sophie. Gotcha, said Jumper. I'll come by tomorrow and see if you've bounced back. Jumper dashed off and Sophie picked up the book again. Pokey was at the door. I've learned to play a new tune, he said. Let's walk to Fisheye Lake and you can lie down and look at the sky while I play it for you. I don't have time for that, said Sophie. I'm busy reading. Well, you can't read all the time, said Pokey. Sometimes you just gotta listen to music and look at the clouds. Maybe another time, said Sophie. Okay, said Pokey. See you around. Pokey left and Sophie picked up her book again, but before she knew it, she was fast asleep. When it was time for dinner, Sophie's mother shook her awake. You've been asleep a long time, said mom. She touched Sophie's forehead. Do you feel okay? I'm just kind of worn out, said Sophie. Hmm, said mom. I think you're spending too much time reading. Reading is a great thing, but you need balance in your life. You need to find things that don't just have to do with your mind. What else is there, asked Sophie. Well, there's your heart and there's your body, and there's your soul, said mom. Tell me more, said Sophie. Well, you use your heart when you play with your friends, said mom. And my body, asked Sophie. You use your body when you exercise. And my soul, asked Sophie. Will you use your soul when you find something quiet to do that makes you feel fresh inside, said mom. You need to do all those things to get balance in your life. Hmm, said Sophie. Let me think about it. The next day, Sophie decided to call Lily. Do you still want a color, she asked. Sure, said Lily. Come to my house and we can have milk and cookies in the backyard too. Sophie spent all morning at Lily's and when it was time to leave, she said, it was really fun being with you, Lily. You're a good friend and you made my heart feel good too. Later that day, Sophie went to Jumper's house. My body needs exercise, she said. Do you want to ride bikes now? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, said Jumper, let's ride. And after Sophie and Jumper biked around Seven Oaks, Sophie said, thanks Jumper, I really enjoyed the workout. My body feels better and I feel balance coming into my life. Let's do this again sometime. Awesome, said Jumper. Now, I have to think of something good for my soul, thought Sophie. I want to listen to music and watch the clouds. Where's Pokey? Sophie found Pokey lying in his hammock. I'm ready to go to the lake and hear your new tune now, Sophie said. When they got to Fisheye Lake, Pokey played his harmonica. Sophie lay in the grass and looked at the clouds. She let her mind drift. She thought about butterflies. She thought about flowers. She thought about going home. Thanks, Pokey, she said. Your music was good for my soul, but now I have to go. After Sophie got home, her mother asked, how was your day? Balanced, said Sophie. I used my heart when I colored with Lily, and I used my body when I biked with Jumper, and I listened to Pokey's music with my soul, and I'm feeling much better, but now I need to relax. Relax how, asked Mom. Well, it's time to use my mind again, said Sophie. I think I'll go read a book. What a great story. So we need to not just do things with our mind, but also do things with our heart, with our soul, with our bodies. So Habit 7 is all about sharpen the saw and finding balance. So let's never be too busy sawing and forget about sharpening the saw. So that's all for today. Bye.